Hi everybody, welcome back on channel and I have another video for you. This is looking at the uh, worst tanks in Blitz, in my opinion. The worst three tanks or the bottom three tanks. Tanks you should avoid like the plague or herpes. Um, now, uh, this is gonna be a gold giveaway video. So what you need to do is watch the video to the end, put your in-game name and server that you play on into the description, sorry, into the comment section. And also you need to put in the answer to this question. What is, in my opinion, the worst tank in Blitz? What is my top pick or bottom pick of worst tank in Blitz? Just put that into the answer because that would be at the end of the video. Now, it's gonna be a short video. I'm only gonna look at three tanks and let's kick it off. Firstly, we're gonna look at this piece of shit. This thing is an absolute crack, crap box. This is the Vindicator or the Vindicator UM Ultramarines. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck this tank is doing in Blitz. It is by far and away the worst TD that there is there. It's an absolute horrendous fucking nightmare of a thing to play. There's nothing going for it. It basically moves like a bell movement. It fucking, it, it has awful, awful uh, gun handling, terrible uh, gun index, terrible uh, mobility index. Um, it doesn't have any push through rounds like AP or APC, or you've got heat and more fucking heat. Um, you know, it's got more heat than a fucking, you know, Costa del Sol in a fucking July or August fucking bank holiday. It's just fucking awful. It's just truly horrendous tank. Um, you've got no gun depression. By the way, they recently buffed this, or they said they buffed it. I mean, basically the buff they gave to this is like giving a guy with no legs and you set a trainers and saying, now he's gonna run faster. My bollocks, he's not. There's no fucking way that, you know, they 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 gave this tank, tank a slight fucking gun, uh, gun depression buff. It makes no fucking difference whatsoever. It's still a shit box. It's just fucking awful. It has no armor, you can't maneuver it. It has terrible gun handling, no push three rounds. As I said, it's fucking glacial slow. You know, it's just fucking awful. Okay, now, um, moving on to its compatriot. Um, which is the Predator UM, another fucking crap box. Oh, fuck me. I had the displeasure of doing a review of both of these tanks because they were recently for sale. I, I shit you not, fucking Wargame were selling these fucking things, if you can believe it. Um, and I hadn't played them for a while. I took them out just to get some gameplay for you guys. Fuck me. It was just fucking awful. Probably being stripped naked and having your gonads fucking tied to an electrode and be slowly electrocuted over the course of 24 hours would be just slightly slightly less painful than playing these fucking things it's fucking awful right it's i mean it's tweedledum and tweedledee it's fucking just shit and um, you know it's just like an adam sandler movie which one is worse who fucking knows i mean this thing oh it's slow it's massive fucking target it's fucking oh, it has no armor but the main thing about it is right the, the, the way that the turret is placed on this fucking thing means that if you're in a low tank like an amx or something like that and you get near to this tank it can't actually hit you and i just don't understand how can you have a tank in blitz that can't shoot another tank in a brawl i mean it's totally unfair it's its limitations are just so many it's a shit box but I guess if you look at this and you look at the Vindicator, it it's a, gives you a very clear reason as to why people who write comic books shouldn't fucking design tanks and why they don't, because they don't fucking work. I mean, this might work in fucking Warhammer or whatever the fuck it was in, um, but it doesn't work in Blitz where there's actual tank dynamics and, you know, you, there's algorithms that you have to play against. It's just fucking awful. Avoid it like a fucking play. It's low pen, terrible gun handling. Um, has its mass, it's basically just like putting a turret on a brick shit house. It's fucking awful. Just avoid this thing like a plague. Now, number three um, is going to be a bit controversial because I know a lot of people like this tank, but I fucking hate it. And I think it's fucking awful. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why, right? Before we get into the stats of this tank. Now, by the way, when I did the video, I've done a couple of videos in this about just how much of a shit box it is, right? But a lot of people commented, oh, well, I like this tank. Yeah, okay, liking it doesn't mean it's not shit, right? Lots of people like Adam Sandler doesn't mean he's not shit. Lots of people like Coldplay, they're shit too. But, you know, just because you like something doesn't mean it's not shit, right? 
and all the statistics of this tank show it to be shit and i'm just talking about facts here it's not my opinion these are the facts of this tank it is shit shit gun handling shit mobility shit armor shit gun dispersion and um, shit hit point pull it's just fucking shit all around now there's other reasons why this tank i think is one of the worst in blitz firstly it's out of place and what do i mean by that well if you look at the line that it's at the end of right where the tortoise is to tier nine this tank has no place being the tier 10 there because it has completely different characteristics to the tanks before it which are slow moving but have great frontal armor and they can bounce shots etc and they are relatively fast firing for their tier so for example the tortoise has six point something second reload which a tier nine is excellent and it's pumping out 400 to 500 um, damage points per round so it's a dpm is, is awesome this thing is a fucking massive reload you know around 20 seconds plus depending on how you set it up and um, has no armor it's slow the other thing about it is though right and this is another reason why it's so bad it's because this tank used to be good right and wargaming listened to all these people bitching and fucking bitching and bitching about it for months and weeks and years and eventually they nerfed it and they nerfed it again they nerfed it again to a point where it's unplayable right so they nerfed its gun handling they nerfed its dispersion and also they nerfed its concealment numbers so basically you play with a light bulb over your head in this tank the whole fucking game so you know it's just being nerfed to a point where it's almost unplayable which brings me to the third reason why I think it's so bad is that, you know, you have to fucking go through a lot of pain to get this tank, right? And a lot of people want to do it because they want that big 183 gun because it's the biggest gun in Blitz, right? And that's not in question, right? But you got to grind the shit out of your fucking game to get it. You got to pay six point fucking six million crowns to get it, right? I say six crowns, Jesus. I'm talking about uh, currency here in the Czech Republic. Six point six million credits, not crowns. I'm not um, done any Czechy koron, don't any penisa. But you know, you have to pay six point six million credits, right? Um, you've got a fucking massive amount of XP. You got to grind a lot of pain and hardship and when you get there this tank is so underwhelming it's just a fucking major letdown so you know if you think that the tank is op and that you're going to nerf it to a point where you can't play it just fucking take it out of the game and put something else in in fact the badger which is the collectible tank at tier 10 td is would be much better suited to be in the tech tree and you could take this out and have it as a premium tank and maybe give back something which allows it to be a bit more playable concealment numbers and a bit of gun dispersion that's all it needs to be a bit more playable um, you know, and that's why I think it's so bad. Apart from all of its statistics, which have been nerfed to the point that it's now a shit box, you've got to pay so much money for it. It's out of place in its tech tree, and it's a, it's a perfect example of wargaming listening to people who can't play the game, trying to fix their own inability to play the game by having the game changed, rather than them trying to improve how they play the game with the parameters that exist um so anyway that is my top three or bottom three worst tanks in blitz and the question that you're going to want answered is which do we think is the worst well the death star is at least somewhat playable even though it's a shadow of its former self the predator is not as bad as the vindicator so the number one worst tank in my opinion in blitz is the vindicator um i'm going to put a, a link to the review of the death star the two reviews i did on it and of the uh, review i did on the vindicator and the um predator in the description so you can have a look at those if you want to and um, bear in mind there's a lot of fucking profanity in there so um don't watch it with young kids or do if you want to introduce them to the real world so anyway guys i hope you found that useful i hope you found it enjoyable and now i guess all that remains for me to say is as always pants off